Greetings. It is I, Susie Q, working with Oneness Blessings. And, you know, back when I was in Houston, in South Houston and in Houston, right, in the Central Houston, um, I was doing a lot of Oneness Blessings. And I really loved um, sharing some of these experiences, even though it was kind of a quiet space, you know, there was no words, you know, sometimes we have too many words. And then eventually, you might start noticing that um, I don't need words. It's just it's just here I'm just present to what is and so you know sometimes you might want to go into what we call a diksha or it could be a oneness blessing right <laughs> anyway so I'll give you a little bit of an example about when people come in for oneness blessing they're just in a state of you know just in the presence of the, their own guidance or their own guides um, and it's not really for me but it's for these other people that are coming in with these oneness blessings you know and I've been really um, wanting to do more of it here in uh, Arizona or Scottsdale and I haven't really found too many people that are interested in oneness blessings and so I can give you a little example what it might look like so when a person comes in for Diksha or for a oneness blessing um, you might just uh, let them get really settled in and sometimes they don't know what's going to happen you know because usually I'm, I'm I'm they're sitting down in a chair and then I'm right uh, right by them right real close to uh, their the, the top of their crown and so we could take a look at look at it what it kind of feels like or what it experiences and I'll just give you a little example about what it might be um, feeling like so right here with the witness blessing, you're just kind of feeling into some of these energies and feeling into whatever it is that you are receiving. Just receiving that energy. That's good. Just allow uh, some time for it just to kind of come right in. And then eventually you might want to go a little bit deeper and then draw it all the way to the crown of the head. Okay, so nice. <sighs> so oneness blessings are kind of a gift unto one another. It's a kind of a gift and it's a privilege that I'm still, you know, doing the oneness blessings. Just yesterday I was at church and somebody was talking about it and I said, well, I can do it for you. Then I just did it really quick. You know, it could be quick or it could take a little time. But all of these um, beautiful sentiments of love and appreciation and guidance and strength and fortitude, all of these kind of words that we might be working with, are really sweet you know so when you start looking at the oneness blessing or diksha is that you start kind of like kind of going into a different state of being kind of going into a higher maybe kind of a higher or um, an extraordinary experience because when you kind of appear and allowing that space to just be is you can just start noticing that there's a lot of like tingles, you know, sometimes there's tingles, you know, for uh, for each one of us, um, maybe not for everybody, right? But I'm kind of feeling that now. And I'm just really engaging right now with my beauty and my magnificence. It's all kind of fun. I love um, sharing this type of material, just working with a oneness blessing. If you ever find a church that has a oneness blessing, I really encourage you to just sit there on the, uh, on the chair and see what the uh, oneness blessing person might be doing for you. And it's really not about it's not about the other person. It's, it's about you. It's about how you feel, how you're feeling good, and you're feeling maybe some healing energies. It could be anything. So all of this has been extraordinarily um, wonderful. Sometimes people come to me uh, with a oneness blessing, and they they just want to to open up their pineal gland. You know, sometimes um, after I go into a session with a oneness blessing, people might say, well, what about my pineal gland? And I just, I just, you know, what I do, because they're just asking, can you do this for me? I said, yeah, if you just 
boom, just just hit it. It's already it's already activated. And it's not about the oneness blessing, but it's about the pineal gland. And you just kind of uh, bring in that that beautiful energy. It's so it's so wonderful, you know, when we start working with one another and sharing other stories and kind of looking at things in a different way. It's all so fun. I really love it. And before I was kind of like going kind of a little bit more cray cray, you know, but now since I'm in here in Scottsdale, I've been here for like maybe six years. It's kind of crazy. It's been like six years. Um, but I've been really been a little bit more peaceful, a little bit more calm, a little more, um, I don't know, just feeling okay, you know, so so back in Texas, it was so different. You know, everything was like going really fast. And I had so many friends, too. I really miss my beautiful, beautiful friends. Um, but I'm still here in sunny Scottsdale. And there's some really cool energies that are working with me. I don't know what, what to say about it, but it's kind of like um, that sun raw energy. You know, when you go out early in the morning and you know and it's kind of cool and it's going to be hot pretty soon right is that that sun raw energy i think is a big part of my i think my healing my overall healing you know i've had a lot of experiences and this experience that i'm living in right now is really kind of a sweet place <laughs> all right so we'll see you soon and namaste <laughs>